the fourth Sunday in Easter, year A. From the book of Acts, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Many states are lifting or have just lifted their quarantine restrictions this past week. And most, if not all, Episcopal churches have chosen to remain closed for the safety of their congregations. This is not an easy decision for anyone to make. And our readings for this week invite us to consider those decisions in the light of our baptismal vow to continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of the bread and the prayers. We like to say that that vow is not just about coming to church. Now we have to live into that reality. Remaining closed is not the easy route, but rather the hard one that requires us to explore new ways of fellowship and prayer, new ways of teaching, new ways of sharing whatever we have. The Lord is our shepherd in this as in all things, calling us to follow him even through the gate of death itself, trusting that his voice will lead us to the green pastures and still waters. Resurrection promises us on the other side. Any other who comes to us speaking of a way out that does not involve enduring pain on behalf of the common good, as Christ also suffered for us. Well, that person's a thief and a robber, trying to steal God's approval from us. Thanks be to God who sends the shepherd after us even when we stray after such voices. That shepherd brings us home to a feast of gladness and generosity of spirit, of mutual care and goodwill, and of the merciful self-knowledge that allows us, now freed from our sins, to live for righteousness. In the name of that good shepherd, even Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Spirit lives and reigns. <laughs>